That's like two more side missions and then... Amen. And we have Duke, a Duke Harsford one and a Hydra one. That one, by the way, also got fixed. If we take a look right here. Um, where was that? Somewhere down here. Uh, da, 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 da. There it is. Fix bugs with the Hydra gameplay logic in one head too many mission. Because one head too many is obviously Hydra. Um, gameplay logic? Gameplay logic. No idea. But it's a one speed, so it can't be too bad. Let's take a look at that, actually. One head too many. Your journey takes you to a marshy region. Clouds of pungent stench float around you. You start to feel uncomfortable, surrounded with so much murky water and dead vegetation. You realize there is no way forward, it's a dead end, so you must turn back and find another road. Suddenly you hear a strange gurgling sound that is getting stronger and stronger. The ponds are unsteady and the ground starts to tremble. Waves splash down your feet. Something fishy is going on, obviously. And then you see a Hydra emerging from the waters. Her serpentine heads are moving fiercely towards you and you find it hard to count the number of them. Now is not the time for maths though. One of your troops, Goro Damien, shouts an advice as he unsheaths his sword. Don't cut the heads, go for the heart. So let's see what the Sentinel does. Because many people say that this card is OP, and I'm definitely one that thinks the same. So it gives Vela plus two, and that's the awesome thing about that, or the OP fact about that. If an allied creature with a Might Emblem would be affected by an enemy action spell, hero skill, trigger, or activated power, so basically any anything, remove a Might Emblem from that creature instead. And since we play around Might Emblems, or Valor, and uh, that's like the main theme of all of that, it's definitely gonna be awesome, <laughs> and a welcome addition to our deck, so welcome, Try Angelica Sentinel. Um, we might get rid of... I think two is okay. We got like two of everything at this point. Um, yeah, I think that's good. Oh, by the way, also one guy on the YouTubes... Uh, hold on, let me... Luring Lion, by the way. Thank you for uh, commenting, by the way. He mentioned... I totally, um, totally glimpsed over that. Uh, he, he mentioned that for the Beer Rider... Yeah, it's, uh, he gets one attack and one plus one attack plus one speed for his uh, active, act activated power. Even though, like, for two mana... It's a three speed, so it can't get blocked by everything, and it's, like, three damage, but... I don't see the value in that too much, gotta say. Still, it's a very intimidating food. That sounds like something I would say, though. <laughs> it's bad. But yeah, for this, we had two times Holy Radiance, and it's definitely worth it. We don't have any uh, active active, active event events going on, so we are not at a disadvantage unless he plays an Undead Hydra at first turn. Yes, I expected as much, but it's only a 3-3. Three, three. Hmm. So that's a special Hydra, all right? Let me guess. Oh, okay, that's Nefaros. I thought it was like, you know, summon the Hydra on, on the field or some shit. So we are a at a little bit of a disadvantage, but I don't think too much. Net at, a, at a very big one. Let's see. Yeah, Nefaros. Most deaf. So. I'm gonna play it like this. Oh, that was bad. I could have gone up an aspect, used the spark, and then Holy Radiance to get rid of that. Baby, <laughs> okay, that's why it's a three-three. All right. How does it how does it transform? When baby Hydra leaves the field, summon a growing Hydra onto the field. Oh. Oh oh. Okay. So if we kill this, then it then it becomes a growing Hydra, and then I guess it becomes the unstoppable one. It's an, also a two-speed. So. All right. Mm, still, it's a three-three. Win without using your using hero skills. Yeah, I barely do that in the first place, so... Let's go up and level. Mm. Mm, we can take more beats from this. Then we go up an, an order level. We can use Holy Radiance twice also. So let's not forget about that. 
would be also cool to draw anything else than just fucking shrines now. Um, yes. Alright. I don't know, maybe we want to prepare before we kill that actually, but we're actually doing that, so. So that's that. Now it's a 3 4. The Hydra grows, entering a new phase of its life cycle. Alright. Um, what is it? A caterpillar? Um, I have 4 HP, 3 damage still, so. That's 3, that's 4. Alright. Then we can play this and attack into this. Never mind, we can't. Now. To kill it. <laughs> Let's check it out. I think with two aspects we are set, for the most part. Let's do it like this. Then it's down to 3 HP, we can kill it with that. And I'm gonna play the captain, my captain. Is it unstoppable? It is. Yeah, I'm gonna wait out. He doesn't play anything else, though. So we just have to deal with three Hydras, I guess. Which is sucky at best. Sucky, sucky. Arrow Barrage. Okay. That's something to write home about. Nice. Boop. The Hydra grows, entering a new phase of its life cycle. Two mana, what does it have? Protected, deadly, unstoppable, summoned. Success. When Hydra destroyed it, pff, destroys a creature, it gains one one energy. When Hydra leaves the field, summon undead Hydra onto the field with a might emblem on it for each one energy on the Hydra. So it's four Hydras. <laughs> See how many we still can get. It's unstoppable, so we lost. So let's resign and try that again. That's something unique, I gotta say, though. It's interesting. That's definitely doable. We just need to ramp up <laughs> as quickly as possible. Ah, dragon. I guess I'm gonna use this, by the way, to like just get get that shit in place. I have to get it back and ramp up a little bit more. I also have a nature shrine, so we're definitely gonna do that. Rup. Okay. Damn it! <laughs> Thought it would like stay back there. Where it's supposed to be. Set it on. I don't have anything to buff this guy, so I'm still gonna play him. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's gonna come in handy for sure. So I'm gonna let him get one beats in because I don't want to attack just with this guy. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna use my hero ability in this. That's good. Yeah, I guess we can do that now. We can play this next turn to shield him again. And I think it's for health. Five health, never mind. <laughs> yeah, unstoppable, but just... A little bit less than it would you do usually. Let's play this. Wait, that's three, four. Yeah. Would like to get another tidal wave though. 
it would definitely do something for us. Seven. Shit. Could've put a Might Emblem on the next turn again. Not like this, though. Not like this. Mm. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely the right play. Ah, I can't attack with both of them. Hmm. Doesn't trigger. It's interesting. Hmm. So it wasn't the right play. Is what this game is saying. Okay. Maybe it doesn't work against Deadly. That might be the case. Would be yeah. Let's do that. Shield them. Good. Yeah. Lost again. That's harsh. That's really harsh. Even though tidal wave is the way to, to go, I think. Oh, yes, I know what I know what we're gonna do right here. I'm, I know what we're do. I know what we're gonna do. That shit right here. <laughs> I don't know if it works, but it should be. So yeah, let's just make that like a fucking baby hydra again. <laughs> and we might as well like put some other cards in there. Uh, some of the new ones, actually. That would make sense. Uh, combat damage to a hero now, because we can't even attack the hero. Because there is basically no hero. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think two of these would be value. This one wouldn't be. Um, does that work? I don't think so, but let's see. Um, let's get this thing out first. As of now, I don't think, I don't think we have any anything else, right? Nope, nothing that requires. Ah, this one. Uh, five cards of your deck. Yeah, but it's just a two-two. So nah. <laughs> Gonna rely on some other cards for that, I guess. So. And we are at 60 cards exactly, so let's see. <laughs> I, I'm curious if that works. And we actually hit the things that we want, so let's keep that. Ah, sweet. Let me see. Does it kill it? It kills it! Okay. Okay, I just wanted to see if that works, but okay. We're also set with this one right by the way now, so yes. Um what do I want to transform that into? I don't really have anything that is low enough. Map, ah, there would there would have been one. When does it get has less than 6 HP. Okay. I was wondering when that should get some Might Emblem. Doesn't get more now. <coughs> Whoop. It's 2 damage. We can get up with, with this and Arrow Barrage. It's just a problem that like the next Hydra that he spawns is like... Um, basically Swift. So that makes things a little bit shittier for us. Put that thing in there. Mm. 
Nice. Because I want to use this for the last phase of it. Obviously. Mm. Hold on. I want this to transform into this. What do you think about that? Ah, why? Oh yeah, I have to wait. Yeah, I guess it wasn't. Man, it wasn't misplayed. But let's wait. Let's wait for that, because I can still cannonade and then do arrow barrage and kill that. But it would kill me next turn, I guess. Hold on. Put that on the front. Okay. Didn't attack. <coughs> okay. Okay. All right, all right, all right. <sighs> so we're gonna do this. Exhaust this. Use arrow barrage. Do that. Can't play anything else though. Into him. I think he still wins with this turn. <sighs> okay. Seven damage. That's eight damage. Ooh! Told you, parallel evolution. <laughs> holy ballsack. And holy radiance for that. Something holy, definitely. Ooh! That was exhausting for my brain, I gotta say. That's like brain workout right there. Holy shit.